Hello friends, in today's lecture we will continue with our learning of GSM network. Today we will learn and understand about GSM network identities. But before we start our lecture please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notifications for new lectures. So let's start. GSM network identities. Network identities are numbers that a GSM network uses to locate a mobile subscriber when it is establishing a call to that subscriber. As the network relies on these identities to route calls to subscribers, it is important that each identity is unique and correct. Numbering plans are used to identify different networks as specified by the International Telecommunications Union ITUT for a telephone number in the PSTN and ISDN network. The International Telecommunications Union's numbering plan E.16 for is used. Subscriber related identities Mobile station ISDN number MSISDN the mobile station ISDN number, MSISDN uniquely, identifies a mobile telephone subscription in the PSDN numbering plan. This is the number dialed when calling a mobile subscriber. As the MSISDN is the actual telephone number of the mobile subscriber, it is the only network identity that subscribers are aware of. All other network identities are for internal network use and subscribers do not need to be aware of them. The MSISDN consists of the following. CC Country Code NDC National Destination Code SN Subscriber Number An NDC is allocated to each PLMN. For example, in Ireland the NDCs 086 and 087 indicate the PLMNs of two different network operators. In some countries, more than one NDC may be required for each PLMN. The international MSISDN number may be of variable length. The maximum length is 15 digits, prefix is not included. A German subscriber calling an Irish GSM subscriber would dial the following number international prefix in germany is zero zero country code cc is three five three national destination code ndc is eight seven subscriber number sn is one two three four five six seven as an example international mobile subscriber identity imsi the International Mobile Subscriber Identity, IMSI, is a unique identity allocated to each subscriber that facilitates correct subscriber identification over the radio path and through the network. It is used for all signaling in the PLMN. All network-related subscriber information is connected to an IMSI. The IMSI is stored in the Subscriber Identity Module. SIM, the whole location register, HLR, and in the serving visitor location register, VLR. The IMSI consists of three different parts. MCC, Mobile Country Code. MNC, Mobile Network Code. MSIN, Mobile Station Identification Number. According to the GSM specifications, the IMSI has a maximum length of 15 digits. Temporary Mobile Subscriber Identity, TMSI The Temporary Mobile Subscriber Identity, TMSI is a temporary IMSI number made known to an MSI registration. It is used to protect the subscriber's identity on the air interface. The TMSI has local significance only that is, within the MSC and VLR area, and is changed at time, intervals, or when certain events occur, such as location updating. Every operator can choose TMSI structure, but should not consist of more than eight digits. Equipment-related identities International Mobile Equipment Identity, IMEI The International Mobile Equipment Identity, IMEI is used to uniquely identify mobile station, MS equipment to the network. 
The IMEI is used for security procedures such as identifying stolen equipment and preventing unauthorized access to the network. According to the GSM specifications, IMEI has a total length of 15 digits and consists of the following. TAC, type approval code, determined by a central GSM body. FAC, final assembly code, identifies the manufacturer. SNR, serial number, an individual serial number of six digits, uniquely, identifies all equipment within each TAC and FAC. Spare, a spare digit for future use. When transmitted by the MS, this digit should always be zero. International Mobile Equipment Identity and Software Version Number, IMEI SV. The International Mobile Equipment Identity and Software Version Number, IMEI SV, provides a unique identity for every MS and also refers to the version of software which is installed in them, as the version of software is important as it may affect the services offered by the MS or its speech coding capabilities. For example, mobile networks need to know the MS speech coding capabilities when a call is being made, that is half rate, or full rate, ETC this will be indicated by the IMEISV. The IMEISV consists of the following. TAC, type approval code, determined by a central GSM body. FAC, final assembly code, identifies the manufacturer. SNR, serial number, an individual serial number of six digits, uniquely, identifies all equipment within each TAC and FAC. SBN, software version number allows the mobile equipment manufacturer to identify different software versions of a given type approved mobile. SBN value 99 is reserved for future use. Location related identities. Mobile Station Roaming Number, MSRN The Mobile Station Roaming Number, MSRN is a temporary network identity, which is assigned during the establishment of a call, to a roaming subscriber. More information about the use of MSRN has been discussed in detail in lectures, related, to call flows. The MSRN consists of three parts. CC Country Code NDC National Destination Code. SN is the address to servicing MSCVLR. SN is servicing node. Location Area Identity, LI. The Location Area Identity, LI is a temporary network identity, which is also required for routing. The two main purposes of the LI are 1. Paging, which is used to inform the MSC of the LA in which the MS is currently situated. 2. Location updating of mobile subscribers. The LA contains the following. MCC, Mobile Country Code. MNC, Mobile Network Code. LAC, Location Area Code. The maximum length of LAC is 16 bits, enabling 65,536 different location areas to be defined in one PLMN. Cell Global Identity, CGI. The Cell Global Identity, CGI is used for identifying individual cells within a location area, LA. Cell identification is achieved by adding a cell identity, CI to the location area identification, LA components. The cell identity, CI has a maximum length of 16 bits. The Cell Global Identity, CGI consists of MCC, Mobile Country Code. MNC, Mobile Network Code. LAC, Location Area Code, the maximum length of LAC. CI, Cell Identity. Base Station Identity Code, BSIC. The Base Station Identity Code, BSIC enables mobile stations, MSSs to distinguish between different base stations, sending, on the same frequency. The Base Station Identity Code, BSIC consists of NCC, Network Color Code, 3 bits identifies the PLMN. Note that it does not uniquely identify the operator.
NCC is primarily used to distinguish between operators on each side of a border. BCC, Base Station Color Code. Three bits identifies the base station to help distinguish between radio base stations, RBS using the same control frequencies. That's all for today's lecture. I hope this has been a useful information. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel. Thanks.